Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And I'm going to start off by just returning Satata's quest really quick. I realized I forgot to do that in the last episode. You remember the one that required us to kill abnormal, the abnormal Brog. And there's our reward. It's pretty simple, really. Now, in this video, we will be take tackling another quest chain. This one, we will be tackling the final quest chain here, actually, Matriana's quest chain. Yeah, we know, and we know everybody here. Oh, that's that's horrible, actually. Wow. This is just a depressing place, I guess. Oh, I see. And yeah, Ryan comments on this one. And there's a thoughtful idea. Starting the last question here. Finally. I mean, this is a three quest chain. But I expect it to be pretty short, because the first two quests in it are bar barely involve anything. First one, let's go over and talk to you in. Okay, random affinity link. You get this any time after completing Yuin's quest chain, by the way. Let's look at that affinity chart update. It's, we get relief. Also, by the way, Kiroki and Nikita are friends again. But, yeah, that's just a nice touch. Now let's actually continue this quest. This is why I was so happy when we got that Ponyo neck meat from hunting those Ponyos back for that monster quest, because we already have them in our inventory! And Ewan agrees to do it. And now let's go talk to Matriona. Well, that was easy. And yeah, Matriana hears about it from Olga. More affinity with the area, of course. Yay, gold experience and a piece of equipment. And our new affinity link is... Bad feeling between Ewan and Matriana. Hmm. Before we do the next quest... Okay, apparently Olga doesn't want to do this at this time. Why isn't Olga giving me this affinity link? There it is. Yeah, if you talk to her as she's walking back to her 
you know, to her personal space or as she's coming out in the morning, you form the orange link distrust between Olga and Ewan. But Ewan has a quest, as you can see. So let's accept that. And Charlotte comments. Sour gooseberries. I know I'm not sure if I have enough of these, but there's an easy trade for them right here. Which of course will be in the description and I will show my I will show the trade on screen. Oh! I do have them. Never mind. How's it going? Come back here, Ewan. I want to talk to you again. See how easy this quest chain is after I get all the collectibles and materials? <laughs> Items from Ewan. Nope, she just went home. Oh well. Set the time back and talk to Matriona again. And there's the affinity. And we improved affinity. We changed an affinity link. Matriana and Ewan have a yellow link now, interested, rather than their old link. And Ewan is over here now. More affinity with the area. Yay. And there is that. Yay, Charwell leveled up. No one else did, unfortunately. And now, I don't think Olga will change her opinion yet, but that opinion will change with, I think, this quest. It might be the previous quest, though. I don't know. Vision. Yup. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh, and this quest... Just as this morning, I will be taking the less happy affinity option of this quest because there is another quest chain later on that requires you to do the less happy option of this quest in particular. Of this, of these, of this pair of mutually exclusive quests. This quest, Imaginations Tempered, is the happy option. I will not be completing it, however, because. As you can see, Arda wants... Arda's in trouble as well. So, let's go see what Arda wants. This is triggered by accepting Matriona's last quest. And yeah, this is the other option. It's not quite as happy, but it really... It, they're very close in affinity. And this one has other benefit, has the added benefit. I mean, long term, they're close in affinity. So now it's time to actually get off our butts and leave that area. Actually, I should do that on the way. Yeah. On the way there, though, there's one quest that I want to take on, that I want to do now, just to get it out of the way. It's a challenge quest that I just never did, and I really feel like I, it should just be done. There's also that one material quest that I ought to do. 
I'll trade for that one, though. All you have to do is run along to the south of Villiera Hill. And he should spawn soon. Yep, there he is. Violent on Dante. Strangely, no resistance to break. They haven't hit us once. Never mind, Shulk's in here. Shulk, I need to help you. Or not. This might be a long video. Oh, he's immune to sleep, that's why. That's the crazed aura. Let's use a chain attack to finish him off. Why not? Or not. I'm not using a chain attack then. And that was challenge two, by the way. I mean, challenge one, part two, not challenge two. And that's Violent on Dante. I think there's only one more unique monster to hunt on Bionis Leg. For now. I mean, not permanently, obviously, but... So let's head over to Ragwell Bridge the North of Girl Bridge, where you can find either of the items. What you want to do is just run south along this ledge. For either item, really. I will be showing where the, exactly where the lake drop is, that first exclamation mark that you see. That's the lake drop. I will be showing exactly where that is in a future video. Don't worry. It's actually right down there on that shore, if you're curious. But if you keep following this path, I might actually get to explore a bit, too, in this video. That's nice. You can find the medicinal herb, which we need for... And yes, that's the option I'm taking. Artist quest, which is spirits raised. And yeah, just you basically warn Arda about it. <laughs> oh, uh. oh just, that was just a quest thing. I believe Imagination's Tempered has expired. And we get the picture book, and we actually have to deliver it to Pama, who we have never talked to in this quest sequence. Right? Thank you! Yay, and Pama leaves. And our entire party will and Shulk and Ryan level up, not Sharla. Sharla got to level up earlier. This will cause Palma to get a green affinity link, great person with 
Arda, and kind person affinity links with both Ewan and Matriana. If you chose the other option, these three yellow links would all be green, but Palma would not form any affinity link at all with Arda. And due to the quest chain later, you can actually improve the affinity with Arda, with, sorry, the affinity between Matriana and Ewan later. Anyway, so, they both learned arts. Whoa, that is really coincidental. I think I know what, oh, Ryan probably learned some aura, last stand. It's not a bad art, but it's not a good art either. I personally won't be using it. Shulk learned Shaker Edge. This is a good art. Use it. It is so good. It's a daze art. So now Shulk can inflict days. And yeah, I'm leveling up Shulk's arts now. And I'll do the art leveling later. The other art leveling later, because I want to get to some exploring in this video. In the last few minutes of this video. We will not be- it's not so much Bionis leg exploring. At least, that's what I hope. I'm not so much doing by trying to cover Bionis leg. Unless- and yes, it has stayed raining. For this entire- it has stayed a thunderstorm for this entire video. Like, since the end of- like, once you get it to thunderstorm, it stays thundering for a while. Like, it has not stopped raining. At all this video, which is nice. But what I want to do is head over here towards this cave entrance. Actually, I think it will stay on the bands like for now. Yeah, I'll cover that later. So we can walk across this little bridge. and discover a landmark. Wait for it. Wait for it. As you can see, this is the exit from Bionis Leg. And it is the Bast Cave Passage, which I will not be going through yet, because the last unique monster we are going to fight on Bionis Leg on our first visit at least. It stopped raining by the way now, which is good, and it's night time, which I wanted. Spawns here, somewhere. Oh, come on, where is he? I don't have that much time. I might actually just cut this out until I find him. That's where he is. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this out, at least until I can defeat him. Actually, that's what we're going to do next time. I think. Yep, this is a long part already. But next time... Well, no, we have a minute. I'll do it. What the hey? Let's beat Knight Cardamon. He is not immune to sleep. He resists break, but with enough attempts, you can inflict it. And yeah, I need to hurry this up. I don't have much time. So I just need to do as much damage as possible. He has that attack, which can be pretty bad, which is why I like heal rounds. Come on, hurry up. I mean, he is more than half dead, but... Yep, 
Yes, he stays there. So let's see what Knight Cardamon dropped. That's what he drops. And next time, I will meet you back at Spiral Valley where we'll head off and do our last quest chain on Bionis Leg. See you then.